So this is one of my favorite places to worship Jesus in the entire world. Why is that? Well, because when you grow up thousands of miles away from this place, you forget that there is an actual piece of real estate that Jesus, the Son of God, is returning back to. We're standing on it. This is the Mount of Olives right here, looking at the old city of Jerusalem. Obviously, you see the Temple Mount behind me, but most importantly, you see the Western Gate. It's called the Golden Gate. This is the gate that the Messiah is returning back, and he's going to walk right through that gate, which is conveniently boarded up, as if they think they're going to stop that. And there's graves planted everywhere, as you can see. There's a verse I want to remind you in Zechariah 14, verse 4. It's a prophecy. It says, On that day his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives east of Jerusalem, and the Mount of Olives will split apart making a wide valley running from east to west. Half the mountain will move to the north and half towards the south. And this is talking about the return of Christ. It goes down later to say in that same chapter, and the Lord will be king over all the earth. On that day, there will be one Lord. His name alone will be worshiped. And I think right now in the craziness of the world, we just celebrated Easter, the resurrection, but the world's crazy. I mean, you can feel, especially when you come to this city, you can feel the anguish of the nations. You can feel the powers and the principalities raging. Why? Because a real man is returning to a real place. And that is what we're looking forward to. That is our assurance. That is our faith. That is what we believe in. And that is what we do. Every time we worship, every time we're hosting a gathering and we're worshiping Jesus, we got to remember that we're hastening the return of the King to the earth. The Lord will be Lord over all the nations. And so I pray this encourages you today, whatever you're doing, whatever you're in the middle of, whatever circumstances you're facing, remember a real man is coming back to a real place and it's not dependent on polling. It's not dependent on, 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 on what people think or what they say. It is actually happening. He's returning as King of Kings and Lord of Lords.